Hello everyone, this is Meir. I'm broadcasting this from the School for Self-Healing and pretty soon I will be on the plane to Vancouver. Boy, I wasn't in Vancouver for years. It's a bit cooler than San Francisco, but not that bad. Rainier than San Francisco, although San Francisco had its shares of rain. It has wonderful people. I met many in the past, and many came here for sessions. And I can't wait for the two days workshop that I will have, which are so special, because one of them has a night walk. I will never forget the walk we had in the park. We walk, and it looks so dark. Then we wave our hands to the side, and our retina develops and opens. Then we put a small piece of paper between the eyes, and people are scared, but they still keep walking, and they see more and more. And then we stop and palm, we rub our hands, we put our hands around our eye orbits, we take the hands off, and all is clearer. The rods of the retina walk up. Reminds me of what happens to me with 90% of my clients at the School for Self-Healing. We go outdoors, either to a sunny day or a foggy day. We do many eye exercises in the sun, or look at the sky, or look at the waves. We come back to the dark room, and it is peach dark. Almost scary dark. We sit and we palm, where we rub our hands, put the hands around the eye orbits, breathe deeply. The client normally gets a nice shoulder massage where I'm playing one of my meditative tapes on palming, which all of you could have. And when the client takes the hands off, wow, the room is completely bright. It still is a dark room. No light was put in that room. The light that was in the room finally was absorbed by the photoreceptors called rods. And so my clients understand that adjusting to the sun takes some time. Adjusting to the dark takes some time. And when you reduce the time that it takes to adjust to the sun and to the dark, as we do with sunning exercise, when we do sunning outside, we face the sun with the bridge of the nose and move the head all the way from side to side facing the sun. Then we go to a dark room. We have a very, very dark room. Kind of funny. The handicapped bathroom in our school. Everybody laughs at me when I say the bathroom exercise. And then we take a ball that glows in the dark and throw to each other in that very dark room and all of a sudden with that very little light of the ball that only gets energized by light from the outdoors we can see the whole room and then we go in sun again and return back to the dark room and throw the balls again sun again come back again just like you can do you can go outside and sun and return and palm in your closet and sun and palm in your closet, sun, palm in your bathroom, palm wherever it is dark, unless you have a nice dark room. And then the sun is easy to have. The dark is easy to have. And so the night work that we're going to have will improve everyone's vision, will improve peripheral vision and even central vision. In our six-day eye class, we always do it in the fifth day. And the reading on the eye chart after that is marvelous. People improve by four, five, six lines on the chart. The seeing line they could not imagine they could see without their glasses. And with their glasses, they see much better than they ever saw before. So while we'll work on movement, on overcoming back problems and others, work with me so you'll be on your path to get rid of your glasses, to stop your cataract, to arrest your macular degeneration, to stabilize your glaucoma, to move forwards. That's why I'm coming to Vancouver. That's why I went to many countries in Europe and will go to them again. In Portugal, I will teach the general public, and first time in my life, 15 people with major problems in their vision, low vision in order to improve their vision. And I am inviting everyone to come to my classes. It's built for the athletes. It's built for people who are very paralyzed with crippling diseases. 
Either way, we all need movement, because movement is life. See you in Vancouver, and talk to you again in my podcast, Mayor. <music>